Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Hypixel Skyblock and today we are going to be discussing dungeons and more specifically secrets in dungeons and how you can find them way easier using a simple mod. So secrets are a thing you find in dungeons and they contribute to the score you get when you finish the run. If you get a high enough score you have a chance at lots of XP and good loot with the most prestigious score being S+, and a score that most people go for as much as they can. The S+, score can be obtained by completing most secrets in the run, or having Paul's Mayor and finishing most of the secrets. And you also have to clear all the rooms. And today, we're going to be looking at a mod called Dungeons Guide that navigates you to all of the secrets, and will show you where they are. And in this video, I'll show you how to install it, and how to use it, as it can be a bit tricky for newcomers. So, let's get right into it. After this message, from the subscribe button, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to 8k, we just hit 7k, which is really cool. I really want to get to 10k for stories, so let's get to 8k next. Thank you guys. Let's get back to the video. So first, let's go over why it's actually useful. Okay, so I used a frag bot to hop into this test dungeon just to show you all how it works. So let's go in here. So the first thing we're going to do once the dungeon starts is the first thing I'm going to do just for ease of this is to clear the room. Okay, I've got rid of all the mobs and now I'm ready to start. So I go over to the selected nothing and secrets, chest one, chest two, and bat one. Let's go for chest two first, navigate, and it shows us exactly where we have to go. So I'll just go over here and then up there and into this area. So I have to teleport up here and into there. And once I teleport in, boom, secrets right there, and I can toss out that diffuse kit. Then, I'm now ready to do the next one. I found that. Chest 2, and it shows a little found, and then chest 1. Next. And there. So when it's done, it just tells you it's found, so that way you don't end up searching for the same one twice. Go down through here, and boom, here's the next one. Okay, now, that one says found 2. That one, navigate. And it'll just tell me where to go for this one as well, so it says go back up here. It says go up here, go down through here, and right through here, I should find a bat. And there you go, I killed it, got the bat, and I see the essence right there, but if I navigate, it will tell me it's right there. I don't need to go anywhere, and just click it. And you'll see I can click, I can pick up this thing if I want to, I don't really need to. So you'll see that just got me to complete the room. However, you will notice that took a fair bit of time, and it would have been a lot faster if I just memorized a secret route for this. So that's going to bring us into our next point in this video. This is great to learn the secrets. Learning the secrets of the run, it will be very helpful and really help you get to know the secrets, and hopefully that will be able to know where you're going next time without using the mod. However, if you get too reliant on this, then it will slow all of your runs down, as you'll need to spend that much time on every single run. And that is where you get to the territory of no one wanting to play dungeons with you, because you're just taking way too long. Another thing that people have asked is, is this mod allowed? And yes, it is according to the information that we have right now. The mod is allowed because it is solely visual and does not give you anything that normal players would not be able to see. For example, it's not scanning for things that you wouldn't be able to see normally. They're all things that you can find yourself. The mod just tells you where they are with waypoints, and that makes it pretty easy. It's not like a Pale 9 client where it automatically clicks and does the secrets for you. That would be cheating. But this just tells you where you are, you still have to do all the interactions yourself, and it's honestly not better than knowing the secrets yourself, unlike Hell 9 where it is better than doing the terminals yourself, because it's cheating, it does it for you. So, what this is, is it's really nice because it's not cheating, because you're just knowing where the secret is, and it's good for learning how you can find the secrets, but you don't want to get too dependent on it. So, let's next talk about how you install this mod. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it on Forge. I'll probably have a BLC guide soon, but right now it's only available to content creators on BLC. For example, 30 Virus might have it soon, and stuff like that. But, the general population, as far as I know, does not have it yet. So, unfortunately, you're not going to be using it on Bad Lions soon, but what you can do right now is install it on Forge. So, as well as the other mods you'll have installed on Forge, I have a complete video on my channel on the best mod you should use for Forge, because there are actually a lot of mods on Forge that will make your Skyblock experience a thousand times better, from mods like NEU that will show you prices of items on the auction house, and prices of items when you're leaving the dungeon in the dungeon loot chest that will help you see whether you're getting a good deal or Dungeon Utilities, which is another mod that I've got a video about on my channel, and that one gives you Dungeons Puzzle Solvers, which is another thing that could be useful if you're more of a casual Dungeons player, stuff like a Dungeons Map that shows you where your teammates are, and just lots of other small little things that end up being really, really, really helpful 
or your entire dungeon experience in the long run, because honestly, the more tools you can have at your disposal, the better. Let's get into the installation. So you want to open up Discord, you'll see I have my Tankerman 3000 Discord open right now, so if you want to see the Tankerman 3000 Discord, please subscribe and you'll be able to see this. But what you're going to want to do is go to the Dungeon Secret Guide Discord. I'll have this one linked down below, but here it is. And you're going to want to see the GitHub releases, this will keep you the most up to date. You don't need to join their Discord, but it's helpful. Also, you get to see announcements and sneak peeks of new things that are coming. Like, this is something I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure. And it just tells you on bottom release. So, let's click on the latest one, new release published, 3.1.1. And it's going to bring you to a website. And here we are on the Skyblock Dungeons Guide website. And all you're going to want to do is download the .jar for 3.1.1. There we go. And you're going to download it. The next thing you're going to want to do will differ from Mac and Windows. I don't have a Mac guide in this tutorial, but... If you want, just ask me in the comments, and I'll link you to an appropriate guide. So what your Windows is do Windows key plus R. That will give you this run dialog that you're seeing on screen right now. And what you're going to need to do is press OK. In .minecraft, you want to click this mods folder, so let's double click. And I have folders for different versions. You will probably not have any of these unless you're more experienced with mods. And all you're going to want to do is drag the downloaded file into this folder. I would drag it into my 1.8.9 folder, which I use for 1.8.9 mods, and I've got an auto-tip folder and a 1.16.5 folder, but you probably don't have those folders set up yet, so just drag it in and it will start to work. And there's no other preparation you need to do in the game. All you need to do is hop into a dungeon and press T to get up there so you can click on those things, and that's just a normal key you use for chat anyway, mine is T, it might be different for you. So, you just need to go and click up there, and you'll see the little thing going on. So, it's honestly not that difficult to install and use. And, it can make your dungeon experience a lot better if you're a casual player that doesn't know that many secrets like I know a lot of my audience is. But, I urge you, please don't become too reliant on this mod. It won't hurt. It won't help you in the long run, as your runs will be slower. And, you really want to know the secrets, and it just makes it better for everyone, including the people you're with in Party Finder. So, Enjoy the mod, but don't get too reliant. And thank you everybody so much for watching. I've really enjoyed making this video, and I hope you enjoyed the contents of the video and the guide that it was provided with. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I did my best to try to make it as good as I could. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and if you want a Mac guide, please let me know, and I'll make one pretty quickly.